This video is sponsored by Sci Games. Hey there, Ignidius here, and I'm a Shadowverse YouTuber, and welcome back to the Shadowverse Beginner's Guide, a video series to help you newer players out there get started with Shadowverse. This time we're covering Portalcraft. We'll talk about the class's core themes and mechanics, and the archetypes that come from them. Portalcraft is about forging your own destiny over fate, and the creations of mankind triumphing over nature. We can see this in its three mechanical pillars. Artifacts, Puppets, and Resonance. Many cards in Portalcraft revolve around adding powerful artifact cards into your deck that when drawn have a big impact and can overrun your opponent. Of course, there are also cards that synergize with artifacts. This links to the class's main mechanic, Resonance. When your remaining deck has an even number of cards left in it, Resonance is active for you and some cards have an additional effect. By thinking ahead, you can add artifacts into or draw cards from your deck to make sure that Resonance is active for you when you need it. The other main theme of Portalcraft is to do with puppets a special token follower that many Portalcraft's cards can put into your hand. It's a 0 play point 1-1 one, one with Rush that destroys itself at the start of your turn, which is really helpful in trading with opponent's followers. But there are also cards that work with puppets, either making themselves stronger when puppets are used, or making the puppets in your hand stronger. The key to good puppet gameplay is to manage them wisely, using them when it's best for you, and waiting on them when you can make better use of them later, potentially even as a finisher. So what are the core archetypes for Portalcraft? Well, mainly there's Artifact Portalcraft and Puppet Portalcraft. Artifact Portalcraft revolves around cards like Majesty Lion, which is a basic card, meaning that it will never rotate out of the rotation format, to add artifacts into your deck, then using those artifacts for overwhelming board presence. Since you add these strong cards into your deck, you will very often have control. The downside though is that because you keep adding cards into your deck, you end up diluting your future draws, which may mean that you don't draw the card that you need at the right time. So you're gonna need to find a way to draw cards faster. Deus Ex Machina helps you to cycle through your deck and find artifacts and cards that you need faster, but you need to manage your resonance well, because if resonance is active for you and you have a hand that you want to keep, you'll end up discarding that hand and drawing a new one, as per Deus Ex Machina's effect. Card draw, like Fervent Machine Soldier, which draws an artifact card from your deck, really helps you to manage your resonance, as well as getting your artifacts earlier and faster, which is really good because artifact cards tend to be very powerful. Artifact Portalcraft is a deck that requires a lot of thinking, even several turns ahead, but if you can manage it, it can be massively effective. Puppet Portalcraft focuses more on puppets as the win condition, using many cards that generate puppets, such as Flower Doll, to build up the amount of puppets in your hand, then using those puppets to either take the board or saving them for a big finish. Vengeful Puppeteer Noah is an example of a potential puppet win condition, as it gives the puppets in your hand plus one attack and storm, which can build up to massive burst damage. The challenge is figuring out when you want to play your puppets to survive, and when you want to hold them to win. Both archetypes can make use of some resonance effects for impactful turns, when Resonance is active, for example with Dimension Cut, which deals more damage when Resonance is active. Of course there are more ways to play Portalcraft, you can lean into the puppets more, you can lean into the artifacts more, or you can mix them more for a more hybrid kind of deck. As of the time of recording this guide, Portalcraft is still a new class and still has a lot of room for development. Nevertheless, each class gets new cards and mechanics every expansion, so in the future there will be tons of more ways to play. Keep an eye on this channel where I showcase various decks to see them. That's it for this overview of Portalcraft, next up we'll be taking a look at Runecraft, like the video if you did, don't if you didn't, subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future, and stay tuned for more Shadowverse beginner's guides like this one. Bye bye